guys, my name is Michael here. I'm going to be doing a little short video um, idea that I've created. Um, this is pretty much something I have decided to do, and I thought it was pretty cool. I Because the thing is that I'm actually trying to work on what's called an, um, a feed logger, which is something I'm actually creating for my Facebook group, which will um, allow the end user to log different situations and put them on t put them onto an, um, a multicast. Which is, if you don't know what a multicast is, basically it's... um. A type of broadcast was broadcast from one to multiple people, but not everybody. So um, I'm going to be publishing that on the FTP website when I actually be able to find a good one. So um, anyhow, let's show you what this looks like. So these are the two files that I'm going to be using right here. I'm using what's called Data Creator and .bat and log to HTML. Now let me show you what the HTML document looks like. So um, if we look onto here, we can see that we have um, a head, meta, um, and HTML. Yeah, um, if you look at the meta tag very closely, um, it says um, HT equivalent it refresh content equals um, 0.25. What that means is that it will refresh every one fourth of a second for the web page. So if we open up the um, log file right here, I get it open. You can see that it's strangely refreshing every once in a while. That's what's showing. That's refreshing every one fourth of a second, which is um, pretty unique, you know. All right. So um, if we looked at the data creator code. Let's look at this very quick. Now, you might notice some of it may be, appear a little strange to you. Uh, this is what it looks like. If you look at this um, right here, DMP, I'm using two carrots to um, go over the um, the paragraph um, ta uh, the um, paragraph tag. That's because if I didn't use those, it will give me a syntax error for command prompt, which will say like, and um, I did the CDM code because it won't show it entirely. But anyhow, that was pretty much the code. Um, let me explain it to you very quick. Let me open that up again. So if we looked at the coding very quick, we have um. This is the boot um, configuration settings. This is the um, this is where you log the information, and right below is the shutdown um, settings. Um, so if we um, what this will do, this will output to the um, log the HTML right over this window right over here. So let's um, see this very quick. So um, let's double click this. So as you can see, it started services, starting boot defaults. So it's loading your settings over here. Nothing's happening. It only shows it on the um, unicast um, output. So it's just starting peer-to-peer -peer access. Now, if we look over here now, it says, what's your name? Okay, so I'm going to put my name, which is Michael. Okay, now it says, wait, it says, um, it says here, what it said, waiting user input halted. Um, it's waiting for me to input my name right here. Now it says right here, post comes out of the action being, currently being logged. System status is currently marked online. Now, let me show you what's unique about this. Um, so here's the um, command prompt window right here. Now, if we insert the member's name, so let's insert, for example, um, test member. Now you can see that I have them in quotation marks. The reason why I'm doing that is because if I did not put this in quotation marks because there is a space within this online. It will give me an error saying like the specified path does not exist. Now I don't get that entirely but I'm using what's called a set forward slash p input command which uses the um, which uses an input ta um, syntax onto the file. Now this is right here insert action posted commented shared etc. Um, let's put like for example posted. They all do the same thing. It, it leads on to a percent um, like it says um set p percent action if percent action percent equals equals percent action percent. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as you put something in it'll I'll put it to that data. Now it says insert details. I'm gonna use for example hi every pony. Now you notice that I didn't put any quotation marks around on posted. That's because I'm not using a space. In this one I am using a space. So now we put this over here. Now watch closely over to log the HTML file. Let's press enter. Now it says right here, log info Wednesday 9-30-2015 at 11.06.94. Now that's not entirely accurate. Oh, maybe it actually is. Yeah, it is accurate. My bad. Um, test member posted hi every pony. So now we press key to continue and return us right back to the insert member's name. Now, if I wanted to put like first name, like offline, um, this will happen with also busy as well. It'll say, um, are you sure you want to mark the system status as offline? You press capital Y. You can even, I think you use a worker swap. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to stay um, case sensitive, for, for example, so I don't mess up this tutorial. So I press capital Y, press enter. Now look over here. It says system status is marked offline. Now to go back online, just press enter. Now watch carefully over here. There we go. System status back marked online. Same thing with busy. It'll do the same thing. Now if I want to do... Um, if I wanted to press offline, it'll ask me, am I sure? If I put an N for no, it'll just go right back, right back to the um, member's name. Nothing will happen. Now, if I use shutdown, for example, 
It'll say, are you sure you want to shut down the logger? Now watch over here carefully and see what happens, okay? Oh, let me just exit out of that very quick, sorry. Um, let's go back to the, um, the batch file on command prompt, okay? So we press a capital Y, and watch, it's now shutting down the system. And, um, let me get out of the way, it says topic command prompt.exe from end user. So that's pretty much how it worked, guys. It's pretty, um, simple how I made this. Um, this took a while for it to make, but, um, this is how it came out. So, um, put down in the comments what you think, guys, and I'm um, glad to see what you got for any, um, criticism and everything. Um, thank you for guys watching, and you guys have a great day.